these guys will fall apart without that support system. Luke's Wings. Luke's Wings. Luke's Wings. The nonprofit works to reunite heroes with their families. It's our service members who have willingly volunteered to go out and get injured on our behalf. I think that we owe it to them. He detonated. That was the day that everything changed for me. Luke's Wings has been around since January of 2008. Here we are in 2018. Which is now 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Yeah, that's pretty amazing to say out loud. One of the very first injuries was actually one of the worst I've ever seen, and that was of Travis Mills, who we may know, a quadruple amputee. Just as there are difficult stories and obviously very trying times. So many of the stories are incredibly inspirational. When a family invites you to be part of moments in their life, those are memories that I'll never forget. I'm Zach Herrick, Army Sergeant Retired, U.S. Army. I was injured June 25th, 2011. Having uh, my family there uh, definitely helped speed up my recovery because without them physically being there, Having that support definitely would have a hard time um, getting past those dark moments. It's more than a flight. You know, we're friends, we're family. So my name is James Pierce. I met uh, Luke Swings at Walter Reed right after I got hit back in 2012. Luke Swings has been a very vital position in my life. Not only over the course of three years, they flew me back and forth home about 14 times, but Luke Swings has also introduced me to my wife. Mr. De La Rosa, will you marry me? They're a great organization, but they're also like family. There were times when, when we needed things, but we didn't even know what to ask for, whether it was a, a blanket or, look, you guys need to get out, let's take you to a movie. That was the last time that we got Landon out of the hospital, was a gift from, from Luke's Wings to Jennifer to say, hey, Let's go have an evening together as a family and let's make that happen. It's not just combat injured any longer, it's wounded, ill, and injured because, like I said, we are seeing a lot of illness. We are seeing training accidents. We want to be able to service those who are protecting our country um, abroad. I just think back to the, the old days and someone gave $10 because that's all they had. Sometimes that means more than the person who gave 10000 you know, um, we didn't raise a million dollars year after year because we got one million dollars from one person. We raised a million dollars because we got lots of donations from lots of people. We need to be kind of a, a household name, if you will. So when it comes to how do we get the family here tomorrow, it's, well, you got to call Luke Swings. That's who you call. I remember the very first family that we flew in June of 2008. Being there to witness someone walking on their prosthetic for the first time. All these people that rallied their local communities to help raise money. Shaking cans outside of bars and restaurants. I remember putting flights on my personal credit card and borrowing money off my home equity loan. Just holding the hands of the caregiver while the loved one goes back for surgery. I remember thinking it's all gonna work out, you just keep doing it. I remember all of the people who would call and tell me that they wanted to support there was an instance where I was actually there when the service member who was battling cancer, he passed. The, the family asked me to be there during that transition and that has got to be one of the most memorable moments. I remember the many years of begging people to volunteer for no money and getting them to see what I saw and the need and uh, how wonderful it was to help reunite these families. I, I can't believe it's actually been 10 years, but I'm very much looking forward to the next 10.